Happy Monday, ESM. I hope everyone had a nice, relaxing break. Today's a special day. It's Mrs. Shatra's birthday. Yeah, everyone, wish her a happy birthday if you see her. Owen, have you ever watched the movie Don't Look Up on Netflix? I have. It stars Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio, who play two scientists trying to save the world from a comet. This movie is actually a spoof about climate change and how if we don't listen and act now, the world could end. Before we go into this dilemma, let's take a look at our top stories. Governor Hochul says mask mandates in school will end effectively this Wednesday. Falling COVID infections, along with guidance from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, led to this change. While the state mandate is being lifted, counties and areas of higher transmission can still opt to require masks in school. Governor Hochul said in a statement, I want to send a loud message that we will have no tolerance in our school system or anywhere for any harassment or bullying of any child or their parents. If people want to continue wearing masks, they are allowed to continue wearing masks. ESM Superintendent Dr. Desiato sent out a message to the ESM community yesterday alerting students and their parents of this change. She also said if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to ask the building principal. The Ukrainian delegation sent for talks with Russia arrived this morning at the Belarus-Ukraine border, where a meeting will be held between Ukraine and Russia. Ukraine has said the key issue for the talks is an immediate ceasefire and withdrawal of Russian troops. Russia has signaled it wants to discuss Ukraine adopting a neutral status. Russia's military launched an invasion of Ukraine early last Thursday following weeks of escalating tension, attacking from multiple directions to reach the capital, Kiev, despite warnings from the United States and the international community of the dire consequences. Russia has blamed Ukraine for stoking the crisis and reiterated its demands that Ukraine pledges to never join NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, turned down an offer from the U.S. of evacuation from the capital city, responding with, The fight is here. I need ammunition, not a ride. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys lacrosse signups are Tuesday, March 1st at 3.30 p.m. in the large gym. Boys in grades 9 through 12 interested in playing lacrosse this spring should attend. New players are welcome. Congratulations to the newest members of the ESM 500 Pound Club. Freshman Tyler Saunders squatted 330 pounds on Friday to go along with his 185 pound bench press. Junior Robert Holloway squatted 290 pounds to go along with his 215 pound bench. Josh Rojek was the winner of the pound for pound squat contest. His score was 207.879. He beat out Jaden McIntyre McIntyre by less than three points. Congratulations to everyone who earned new maxes. Okay, so climate change. To put it in simple terms, climate change is mainly caused by increased levels of greenhouse gases. Half of the light that reaches Earth's atmosphere passes through air and clouds to Earth's surface where it is absorbed and radiated in the form of infrared heat. This excess heat along with gases such as carbon dioxide are damaging the Earth's atmosphere. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, a group of 1,300 independent scientific explorers from countries all over the world, reported that there is more than 95% that human activities over the past 50 years have warmed our planet. Some of these activities include burning fossil fuels along with coal and oil. Speaking of our climate, let's see what's going on with weather.
So uh, we asked some teachers about how they feel about climate change. So we have Mrs. Malloy talking about what climate change is. That's Mr. Stewart. Global warming is the increasing of the temperatures of our whole world, and this is causing um, negative uh, things such as icebergs melting and causing the sea level to rise. Ms. Sherwood talked to us about how climate change impacts us. So I think that the main responsibility should fall to the major corporations that do a lot of the polluting that has caused climate change, but I think that individuals can also have an impact. Like I personally, uh, I compost or I try to thrift, like buy things secondhand as much as I can, um, which I think has a little impact, a little part to play in fighting against climate change. Ms. Serio talked about how it affects her. If you look at the weather outside, it's clearly warmer. It's been warmer in Syracuse, New York. Um, and I would also say I have some friends in California who have been dealing with the forest fires out there. Looking at climate change from a local perspective, Syracuse currently experienced 10 to 15 days in July and August with temperatures hotter than 90 degrees. If activity stays the same, the numbers of hot days will increase by 56 by 2100. Our planet has already begun to feel the effects of climate change. Ice sheets that once held glaciers have melted and caused sea levels to rise. According to a report by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, sea levels are expected to rise as much as 12 inches by 2050. A warmer climate has extreme weather like storms and flooding along with increased smog in certain areas from the temperature. This smog not only impacts our environment but our physical health as this can cause health issues like heart disease and asthma. It's also important to note that even though climate change is known as global warming, not all areas of our Earth are warming up. Certain areas of the Earth, like the North and South Poles, are warming the fastest. The boys basketball team lost over break against Auburn 56 to 48. They are now eliminated from sectional playoffs. The girls basketball team just fell short of winning their game against Camden, losing 27 to 26. Isabel Shavsteed led the team with 12 points and Lena Palcaro had 11 points. And yet again, congratulations to the weight room pound lifters club. The 2020 Winter Olympic Games have concluded Norway won having an, the most gold and total medals. The United States finished fourth behind Germany, China, and JT Bo from Norway claiming the most gold medals getting four. Syracuse men's basketball team lost to Duke 97 to 72 on Saturday. Buddy Beheim led the team in points with 23. It was an exciting we weekend at Tennedy Ice Pavilion as the Syracuse women's ice hockey team won their second CHA conference title in stressful fashion winning the semifinal and championship game in overtime. Senior Abby Malotny led the Orange to a 3-2 victory over RIT, scoring all three goals, completing a hat-trick, and leading them to the championship game against Mercyhurst. All right, so climate change is a big issue. It really is. It is. And I think there are a lot of things that we can do to help combat, combat <laughs> this issue. So some ways you can stop climate change is using less water, eating more organic and local food, using more energy like wisely, and making your commute more eco-friendly. And I think a way you can do this is say you live close, just bike to work. You don't have to drive to work. I feel like that saves on gas. So yeah, this can definitely solve the spread of climate change and make our world a better place. So remember, saving, saving the, the planet, planet starts, starts with, with you. you.